Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie and if you're new here, please do consider subscribing that big red button down below. So today I'm doing a tripod unboxing because my husband and I are hopefully going travelling by the end of the year. We're not quite sure when or where at the moment, but I needed a tripod that I could take travelling with me. So I kind of spent a lot of time on Amazon looking at lots of different options and then discovered this one. So it's the Vic tiv 65 inch travel tripod for camera compact and phones so i wanted something to be able to carry my sony well not carry but you know use it with my sony camera and also one i could use with my phone the good thing about this one is i think it comes with two mounting plates i think that's the right word so i can keep one attached to my camera and one attached to my phone tripod section which basically means that i won't have to undo the plate thing from my camera every single time I want to use my phone because so I think I'll kind of be switching between the two. I got it from Amazon, it was £35 reduced from 50 so I got a little bit of a discount there and I kind of thought I would unbox it with you and show you what it's like and if I think it's good or not for travellers and people who like to take photographs while they're travelling with a professional camera. So this is the box, again I got the 65, there was the option of 72 and 75 so I'll have to see how tall this goes and how big it is and if it's suitable or not. Um, again, it comes with two of the plate things, hopefully. I know, let's get into it. It feels quite heavy, if I'm honest, in the bag, in the box. Um, so I'll see, because this is something that I'm going to want to travel with me and carry it on my backpack whenever we go on hikes or things like that. So I don't want it to be too heavy, but I also want it to be sturdy enough that it's not going to break after a couple of weeks. And I actually looked at the Peak Design ones. They've got a really, really good one that's like carbon fiber or something but it's literally six hundred dollars which is crazy for a tripod okay this is quite heavy this is quite heavy and it comes in a bag so that's quite cool this also seems quite big i thought that this could go in a backpack like a normal day bag i'm going to insert some pictures on the side so you can kind of see the pictures that i'm looking at and it shows it on the side of a bag anyway we'll see okay so first thing is that's the phone section which is good so like i said there should be two plates so i can keep one on there and then easily slot it onto the tripod so that hopefully is never going to fit my iphone 12 pro max i'll try that in a minute um and then this is the tripod okay so there's one of the plates so this is what I mean, is that I can keep this attached to this at all times. One second. Okay, so I'll be able to keep that in my bag basically and then that bit will slot onto the tripod. And then, oh, that's kind of cute. <laughs> Big thank you thing. Okay, so is there anything I need to know? No. So if I can't pull that to one side, it's quite sturdy, oh crikey, okay, it's quite sturdy actually, which I'm impressed with, it's got a little handle, didn't know that, one minute, there we go, you can carry it like that, that's quite snazzy, um, let's see how these feel, it feels quite good actually, I'm surprised, it is heavy but it feels quite sturdy, and these are nice big things. Oh, and they move. Gosh, this is snazzy. So that, if you're on like a rock face where, you know, it's not quite flat, that will be quite good. And then the hook here is for, if you have it all the way up, you can hook your backpack on there just to kind of hold it down and make sure it's not gonna move anywhere. So that's brilliant as well. This bit is padded. Okay, so then let's see. So it comes off like that so what you need to do then is attach this one onto the camera that you're using we'll see if it's going to stay like that or if it's best to go sideways i'm not sure okay so this should slot on quite easily oh done okay so that's brilliant because that means i can just take my camera off like that and then pop my phone on like that. And it's literally that easy rather than having to unscrew it every time. So that's actually pretty good. I'm impressed with that. And I want to see how much I can actually do. 
Okay, so that's the poor tray, although that doesn't feel very sturdy. One second, why is that not sturdy? Let's screw that on a little bit tighter. That's the thing with things like this, you really need to make sure that your camera is secure because you don't want it falling off. So let's try again. So that one is for portrait photographs. And then how do I move it? No, it's not that one, that one's just up and down. Hmm. This is where you should really be reading the instructions, but I like to just figure it out. No. Oh, that's doing that. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I don't know how I did that though. I think it just does it automatically. Okay, so you can point down. So I guess if you turned it, what's that one? I think that one's for turning. And down. No, that was just my camera moving then. What's this one for? There's a lot of knobs on here, I'll be honest. I'm going to have to read the instructions. Bear with me one second. Oh, okay. So, this one at the back here. It's a bit stiff, this. What does this do? Yeah. Oh, ha, ha. it out. Oh. Bloody hell. That is snazzy. And then you'll just pop that in. Crikey, this is posher than my man photo one that's been. I mean, I don't like it going down so much, but going up's good. Okay, figured that out. The only one I don't know is how to turn it. That's that one. Because then if I tighten that one. Yeah, okay, so that one is to turn it that way. This one. Oh, it does it that way. And no, one minute. Yeah, it's because I turned my camera. Because beforehand I had it like that. So that was turning it. Oh my god. This is so confusing. Anyway, all of these knobs work and it's doing exactly what I want it to do. I just need to figure it out a little bit more. <laughs> Welcome to an unboxing with Rosie, by the way, if you're new here. This is what happens every time. But I like it this way because it's actually raw and authentic and just me actually figuring it all out. So I think, what does this one do? Center, brace, locking circle. Okay, so you can turn that to lock it there so that's not gonna move up. So that's brilliant. There's the handle, sponge grip, leg flip locks. These seem really secure as well, which is good. Cause some of these, you can buy a tripod for 20 quid and it'll break within, you know, a month of using it or something. So I just want something sturdy. I just worry that this one might be a little bit heavy. I'm going to try it in my bag and see, and also see if it'll fit in my the side pocket of my new backpack, which if you didn't watch the video, I'll leave it linked up here. I bought a new backpack for um, traveling. So I'll leave that link to there if you want to go ahead and watch that one. Um, but yeah, I think this is good, honestly. I mean, obviously I'm going to try it out over the next couple of weeks and we'll see. But first impressions, really happy with it. I think that one moved. How do we keep that one sturdy? Is it this one? What does that one do? Oh, it's that one. Okay, so yeah, it's brilliant. I mean, there are lots of knobs and bits. I don't think this one's necessary, I'll be honest. I could have done with just pulling that up and pushing it down. But apart from that, it's kind of got everything you would need because you can turn it round, you can look up and down, side to side. You can lift this higher, you can also lift these higher. Oh, well, let me see how tall it goes. That was the only thing I wanted to do. Jeremy's filming on my phone here, so the angles might be changing a little bit so we can see exactly how high this goes. Okay, I'm going to stand next to it so you can see. So I'm about five foot eight, so this is about as tall as me. And then if we undo this one and pump it up, I wonder how high that, oh, how high that goes. Okay, to there. So literally, I'm about five foot eight, five foot nine, something like that. So that probably goes about as tall as me. You could probably bring it taller if you wanted to bring it in a little bit, you know, closer. Obviously, it's less stable then. But that is pretty bloody tall. So if we tighten that one, and then obviously there, you could hang your bag. 
so that it's not going to blow over in the wind or anything once you've got some weight on it. So yeah, super happy with that. I think this is going to be a little bit scary bringing it down again because of this thing. I'd rather hold on to that bit. I don't think I'll trust this. So overall, really good. I could do that this bit, like I said. Otherwise, I like the fact that everything locks in place. It does seem a little bit unstable on here. I do feel like that is moving quite easily. So I think you'd have to really tighten that up. Let me just see how tight I can get it. So that's really tight there. Clap it on there. And I can still move it around. So that's not great, I'll be honest. So the only thing, like I said, I would probably get rid of this, I don't think that's necessary. And the other thing is that this doesn't seem to tighten as tight as it needs to go. Like I've really tightened that there. And if I put it on there, I can still move my camera around. So that's the only thing that's concerning me is that it's not really stuck on there. With my mum photo one, it was really stuck on there. But otherwise, it seems brilliant. And the fact that you can just change it out like this is amazing for content creators. You can just switch and use your phone or your camera, depending if you're doing stories. I do need to see if that will fit with my phone, actually. That's going to be key as well. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly grab my bag, see if that will go in the side of my bag where I want it to go. And then I'm going to ask Jeremy to film with my camera to see if I can get my phone in this, because that will be two deciding factors on if I keep it or not. So bear with me one second. Okay, so this is my new camera bag. I bought it recently. Again, I'll leave it linked um, down below. We've linked it above earlier. So I want to see if this will fit in the pocket at the side, because this is the bag I'm going to be going travelling with. So I need to have something that fits in there, really. Okay, that's huge. I've seen some photographers do this to put two legs in there and keep one leg out. And then I could use this. And I can use that to keep it secure. Up, out, up. So yeah, it does fit. It definitely fits on. It is bigger than I was expecting, probably bigger than I was wanting, but we'll have to see. I'll try it out over the next couple of days and we'll see if I decide to keep it or not. I think for the quality and the price and the sturdiness of it, I think it's brilliant. Especially because the little handle, just the little things like that I think is good. Right, last thing I want to do is get Jeremy to film on my camera and see if my phone will fit in here. So we're going to switch again, so one second. Hi guys, so it's been a couple of days since that first clip. I've been painting, I'm exhausted, I'm sorry I look like this. But when we filmed on my camera, I didn't have the microphone and the audio was just awful. So I really need to film again. Anyway, this does fit my iPhone 12 Pro Max. I'm just going to show you this. So part of it slides out here and it feels quite stiff. So I was a little bit worried about if it would fit or not, but it does. So this is the iPhone 12 Pro Max, like I just said. So it does fit. I do question how long that's going to fit for because it does seem like a spring. And it seems like something that could break quite easily. And then in terms of then attaching this, so what you would do is just keep this in your bag at all times, keep the other base on your camera. So then what you can do is just switch out whenever you want to basically. So it just slots on like that and then attaches. And then of course you can also film in landscape if you want to do that. Obviously you can film selfies, you can film facing that way, you can do stories, you can do reels, you can kind of do anything with that. Um, so yeah, it does fit on. In terms of first impressions, I think, like I said earlier, a couple of days ago, but earlier for you, I do think it's a good tripod for the price. So it's about £35. I'll leave um, conversions on the screen of US dollars and euros so you can kind of see what it is in different currencies. So overall, I think it's great for the price. However, I, I did spend some time looking at the Peak Design. There's the carbon fibre one and then there's the aluminium one. And the aluminium one is about £250. The carbon fibre one is about five, four, five hundred. But the aluminium one seems amazing, honestly. I think it's about the same weight, but I think it's probably a lot smaller. And it's just got one ball head. It's not got all of these different knobs and things. So, and I think it obviously lasts longer. It's better quality, things like that. So I am contemplating buying that one instead. It's just a lot of money to spend on a tripod. Um, so watch this space, subscribe down below so you can find out if I ever do buy that. And I'll do a comparison if I do. 
but yeah i think this is a great tripod for if you're staying at home if you want to record youtube videos at home like this in this sort of situation i think it'd be great um it is quite big and clunky for traveling again in terms of the size of my bag and things it's quite big obviously and also in terms of all the knobs and screws you've kind of got to play about with different ones to figure out which one you actually want to move it's not super obvious um so i think that could take a little bit of time getting used to in terms of what does what but anyway overall let's like final thoughts the final thoughts the price is amazing the quality is pretty good yes it's plasticky but i think it seems pretty sturdy considering it is plastic i think it'd be a great tripod to kind of keep at home all the time but probably not ideal for traveling just because it is quite big and clunky so that's my overall thoughts. I will leave it linked down below in case any of you want to go ahead and buy this for yourselves. I'm sorry, the builders have just arrived, so I'm going to close it up now. Um, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it somewhat useful, and I will see you very soon. Bye!